using a couple of things you haven't yet used in the game that are exclusive to Minecraft Education Edition. That is the Compound Creator and the Element Constructor. Uh, let's get rid of these leaves here. So in order to use, to create a balloon, we're going to need to create some latex, which uses carbon and hydrogen. We're also going to need to use helium. Each of those are elements, and elements are made up of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Conveniently, almost any element you'll want to make in Minecraft has the same number of protons, element, electrons, and neutrons. So you just have to know how many of how many protons it has, and that will be the same for everything else. The most common ones that you'll use are carbon, hydrogen, um, and oxygen, but in this case, we're also going to use helium. I'll show you, I'll put a link to where you can find out how to make the various elements and what they have um, for number of protons. But today we're going to make hydrogen, which has one proton, one electron, and one neutron and over here it says H for hydrogen and it has that one up in the corner which is how many of it is. So I'm going to click a bunch and get a bunch of hydrogen down here. I'm also going to need carbon or helium. I'll do that next because that is two of everything. Um, and so I'll get a bunch of those and we need carbon, which is eight of everything. So here we have our nuclea, nucleus. You can see that there are eight neutrons and eight protons. That forms the nucleus of the atom. The electrons are these red rings, these red on the element, red uh, electrons on the rings outside of the core of the atom. The electrons have negative charge. The protons have positive charge. The neutrons are neutral. Um, and it's, it's sort of like a magnet or an orbit with gravity. These protons keep these electrons running in close and the electrons help keep the protons shoved in together in the middle. Okay. Oh, oxygen is eight, not, I was uh, thinking carbon was eight. Let's try this, not seven. Six is carbon, I'm sorry. So let's grab all the carbons. Oxygen's another common one. So you can play around a little bit with this. So now we have all of the elements we need. So I'm gonna get out of the element constructor and I'm going to go to the compound creator. Is that this one? No. The compound creator. That is where we can take multiple elements and combine them to create a compound. In this case, we're going to want five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. I'm right clicking, oh, one more. Right clicking to get individual ones and eight hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that should make latex. We can mouse over it to see what it's gonna create. We're gonna need a lot of latexes, so I'll go ahead and grab those. And we have what we need for our balloon. We need dye, a lead, helium and latex. So I'm gonna go over here to my crafting bench and the latexes are going to go one each on the outside because they're the outside of the balloon. The helium obviously goes on the inside of the balloon. Our lead is like the string for the balloon, so it's going to go at the bottom. And our die goes at the top. 
And here we get a cyan balloon. So I'm going to grab that and put it in my inventory. And now balloons are cool, but what's really cool about these balloons is if I can come over here and find one of the sheep that I know is around somewhere. Let's look down here. I heard him earlier. We'll look around for a little bit, and if I can't find one, I'll leave that as an experiment to you. Oh, there's one. I'm in creative right now, so I'm going to cheat and fly over there. There we go. Get my balloon. Eight in my inventory slot. And I'm going to right-click it to attach it to the sheet. Oh, eight in my inventory slot. I'm going to right-click it. Oh, and there goes the sheep. It's gone. So that's kind of fun. Um, it actually looks like I kept my balloon, which is fun. Let's try it with one more sheet. Whee! Off it goes. Okay. So I don't recommend doing that with sheep that you actually want to keep, but you can also have them tied to a fence with the balloon on the other side. So go experiment with what you can attach the balloons to. You can also attach the balloons, I believe, to fence posts so that you can just have a pretty decorated area um, and see what all you can get done with them. I will go add the compound creator and the element constructor to your, um, your world. Be careful because if you destroy them, they will disappear. Uh, you can't pick them up again. So I'll create them in a couple of places so that when you accidentally destroy them, because I've done that a few times, you can still have one around while you write to me and tell me what you did. Um, I'm also going to create a chest and put some dye and some leads in there. I expect right now for you just to use a lead or two and then from then on to get your own leads um, through mining and crafting. But since it's a little bit fun to play with it for now, I'm happy to put those in there. And then you can make as many elements as you want. And I will put the link to other things that you can do with the elements into um, the classroom. You can also make glow sticks, which are fun. So I'll give you a link to how to make those as well. So get playing with the elements and have fun.